Hello guys, welcome to the next adventure in the Pathfinder Adventure Card Game for Chris and Joella. Lem and Valeros are going to take on the Poison Pill. We're going after a guy named Pillbug Potiger, who's starting to leave poison traps all over town. So we have to find the traps and disarm them and then take down Pillbug Potiger. The special rule for this scenario is we get to add two whenever we try to acquire an ally. We get to add two to our results. For the four locations we have the Town Square which says you may discard a card from your hand to explore during your turn, but you cannot recharge the card. When closing, banish a card from your hand. The Village House says, when attempting a check to acquire an ally, you may instead recharge a card to automatically acquire the ally, and to close, banish a card from your hand. The City Gate says, if you fail a combat check, shuffle a random monster from the box into the location deck, and when closing, summon and defeat a bandit henchman. And finally, the General Store. If you encounter anything other than an item or weapon, after the exploration you may explore again. When closing, banish a card from your hand. So, we're good to go. I think we're both going to start at the same location, so where do you think we should start? Mm. Well, why don't we start at the general store? Okay. And I'll let you go first once we draw our hands. I'm going to choose Spell as my favorite card. I don't get to choose, but I get a hand size of four, and I have a weapon. And I got a cure spell in my hand, so I'm good to go. I did not get a weapon. I have to put these to the side. Put in a discard pile until I have a weapon. And of course, I do. And I reshuffle my deck and the discard pile. Alright, Mr. Valeros, <clears throat> you can take the first turn. Okay, so, turn one. Busting of Aristotle. Which is uh, okay, so I'm going to explore. Look, the villain, just like last time. Okay, so it says all damage dealt by this um, pillbug poison. Pillbug. Oh, pillbug poison damage that may be may not be reduced. May not be reduced. And he's a combat eleven. Ooh, combat eleven. Well, I may as well try it. <laughs> He's right there. He can't invade or anything. Okay, so Valeros's strength melee is a D10 plus it's plus three. But I'm debating which one I want to use: my long spear, or my long sword. Okay, well, my long sword is for your combat chat. Reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8. You may additionally discard this to add another d6. If you aren't proficient with weapons, the difficulty of this check is increased by 4. But my long spear is for your combat check. Reveal this card to roll your strength or melee die plus 1d8. If you fail a combat check with this weapon, you may discard this card to ignore the result and re-roll the dice. You must take the second result. I'm thinking I might just use my longsword because I have another one in my hand. So that would give me a d10. Another... Ooh. A d8. And... If I discard it, I get another d6, which I think I'm going to do. And I believe Chris has an ability to recharge a card for me. I'm not going to because I think you'll be okay. Oh, you think I'll be okay? Okay. And my ability is only... Oh. No. Whenever you discard a weapon to use it for its ability, 
You get to recharge it. Okay, so I get to recharge it. Seven seven two. Seven seven two. So sorry, that was a seven. So that's sixteen plus three is nineteen, which is enough to defeat him because he's only an eleven. Right. So he's defeated, but because he's a villain, he's going to run away to one of the open locations with two random blessings from the box, since there's still two open locations. By beating him, we automatically close the location we're at. Oh, can I turn this over then? Yep. you got to read the when closing effect, though. Or when permanently closed. When permanently closed, on closing, add 1d6 random item to this location without looking at them. Then automatically acquire the top card. But it also says when closing, banish a card. You don't have to banish hand. a card though because we beat the villain, it automatically closes it. Okay. So we flip this to show that is closed. And now roll a d6 because we have to add a d6 random items. Two. Two items, and you automatically acquire the top one. <coughs> Masterworks Tools. Reveal this card to add two dice to your disabled check. Nice. But charge this card to defeat a bearer whose highest difficulty to defeat is 14 or lower. So that goes to your hand. And my hand size is back up, and I have nowhere to search, so that's the end of my turn. Okay. I'll flip my blessing. It does a blessing of gore, which adds to a combat, a, a melee combat. So, actually, it's a strength combat, sorry. Strength combat. Where was that? Last I'm year? going to stay where I am and explore to see what the second item is. It's a codex, which requires an intelligence knowledge check of eight. I've got a d6 plus three. So I roll, I need a five or a six. And I roll a one. So that's just going to go away. And that's going to end my turn. Okay, so where do I want to move next? Blessing of the Gods. I think, I don't know if... Wherever you go, Lem will follow. Yeah, wherever Lem. Let's go to the village house. So Valoros will move to the village house. Is there any specific thing I need to do before I can no, explore? No, it, it just says when attempting a check to acquire an ally, you can recharge a card to automatically acquire the ally. Okay. I'm going to explore. Blessing of the Gods. Which says, if you encounter this card, you automatically acquire it. I am going to explore again. My hand size is only four. Another Blessing of the Gods. I will explore again. A bugbear. Ooh. He's just a 10 combat. 10 combat. So I'm going to use my long sword, which is my combat check. Reveal this card to reroll your strength and melee die plus d8. Now, what I'm going to do is I have my d10 and I have my d8 and then I have plus 3. Now, he's only a 10, but unless Slam wants to help me out. I can't. I'm not at your location. Oh, well, yeah, that's right. And I'm not going to recharge it to... No, I just roll. I got a 10. 4 and a 6. Yeah. yeah. Plus 3 is going to be 13. 13. So that's going to defeat the bugbear. <clears throat> well, I have no way of exploring again. I think that's the end of my turn. Okay. So I'll flip my blessing card over. It's a blessing of the gods. I'll come to the village house with you, and I'll explore. And I found a force missile spell, Ooh. which is an intelligence arcane four. My arcane is a d10 plus one. So I'll roll my d10 plus one. I need a four. I rolled a three, so three plus one is four. So I'll get the force missile. Goes to my hand. I'll discard a blessing of the gods to search again. 
it's a standard bearer. Well, I'm going to activate the ability of this one. And I'm just going to recharge it, my standard bearer in my hand, to automatically gain the standard bearer. And then I'm going to discard the standard bearer to explore your location. Is there something over there that you have to bury something? I wasn't too sure when you got your allies, or was that a different... No, it says, when attempting a check to acquire an ally, you may instead recharge a card oh. to automatically gain the ally. Oh. Okay, I found the poison trap henchman. So I have to try and disar disarm this trap. So, it's, so I'm just going to use my thieves tools, which says, discard this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is 11 or lower. So I'll discard my thieves tools to automatically destroy the trap. Okay. And it says, if defeated, you may immediately attempt to close this location. I did have an ability, but you chose to use the thieves tools for you. Your ability only works in combat. Oh, combat, yes. So it says, banish a card to close this location. I'm going to banish a blessing of the gods. So that's gone. To close this location. When closing, it says, or when permanently closed, there's no effect when permanently closed. So no bonuses or anything. We search, see if the villain is in here. He's not, so we successfully closed the location. Wow, we're doing pretty good. Okay, and then I'll just draw back up to six. Okay. Blessing of the gods. Okay, I want to go to the city gate. Okay. And this is the one that says, if you fail a combat check, shuffle a random monster from the box into this location. Trap Locker. Dexterity Disable 9, Strength Melee 11. If defeated, add one random armor from the box to your hand. If undefeated, discard the top 1d4 minus 1 cards from your deck, and then you may banish this barrier. Okay, so I'm going to decide to use my Masterwork tools, because I don't want to roll. Okay. So I can recharge this card to defeat a barrier whose highest difficulty to defeat is a 14 or lower. Okay, so you can go ahead and do that. So that's going to defeat the trap locker. And it says, if defeated, add one random armor from the box to your hand. Here's your random armor. Received a wooden shield, which oh, is... Okay, not that great. Recharges card, reduce combat damage dealt to you by two. If you're proficient with light armors, you may play another armor on this jump. Yeah, so it just goes into your hand. Hmm. Okay. Um, I was hoping, since I got some defense up here, can I discard one of these? Yeah, at the end of your turn, you can discard any cards okay. and draw it back up to your hand size. I think I'm going to to do that, because I have no way of searching. So I think I'm going to get rid of the wooden shield, because okay. my chain mail is basically the same thing. But this is armor, this is not... Oh, what? Okay, my turn is done. Okay, flip my blessing. We get a blessing of Shaylin, which is for a wisdom check. Move over to the city gate with Valoros. I'll explore and find the traitor. Before the encounter, discard a random ally from your hand. Well, I don't have any allies in my hand, so I don't have to discard anything. I will play the Force Missile spell, which discard this card or roll your arcane die, which is a 10 sided, plus 2d4 with the Force trait. Now you can use your ability. Oh yes, that's right, it's combat. So add 1d4 to another character's combat check at your location. So that gives me a third d4. Okay, and I plus one. I feel confident. So I got a five, plus two is seven, plus two is nine. One. Plus one is ten, and I have plus one is eleven. Just enough to beat him. Good job. So he's, go he's gone. I have to roll my recharge for my force missile, which is succeeded in Arcane 6. Again, I get a d10 plus 1. I rolled an 8. So 8 plus 1 is 9. That's enough to recharge it. I think I'm going to search again. I'm going to discard a Blessing of the Gods to search again. Okay. And I found the villain, Pillabug Potiger. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to fight him. I'm going to cast Force Missile again, which is 
a d10 plus 2d4. And my d4. Joelle is going to give me a d4. And then I'm also going to use a blessing of the gods to give myself another d10. I think I got lucky last time, so. I need an 11. I get plus 1. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, plus 1 is 16. That's enough to defeat Pillbug Potiger. Yeah. He's only got one location to run to, so he's going to disappear into this deck. And then this location is going to close. So you can go ahead and flip the card, please. Sure. And all these cards get banished. We're making good time. Yep. We're also missing out on a lot of good cards, though. By accident, though. We keep so. finding them. Yeah. Okay, roll to recharge force missile. Need a, need a five or higher on this dice. Oops. Rolled out of the box, I gotta re-roll. Got an eight. So that's gonna recharge force missile. And I'm gonna end my turn and just draw back up to six cards. Okay. Blessing of the gods. Go to the town square, which says you may discard a card from your hand to explore. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a blessing or an ally. Okay. So you're going to explore? Yes, please. A Matok, which is a strength melee six test. Strength melee six, so I have a d10 plus three. Six. Six plus three is nine. <laughs> you get the Matok in your hand. Nice. Would you like to discard any cards to explore again? Um, I will. I want to discard my chain mail because this mat talk looks pretty good. Okay. It says reveal this card to add 1d8 to your non combat strength check. And it says recharge this card to use your strength or melee in place of the normal combat check to defeat a barrier with the lock or obstacle trait. So I'm going to put that, I'll discard okay. that. You found a poison trap. Ooh which is a Dexterity Disable 5 test. Okay. Would I be able to use this mat talk? Reveal this card to add a D6 to your non-combat strength check. Well, it's not a non-combat strength. What's the next one say? Recharge this card to use strength or melee in place of normal com a normal skill and I shot to feed a barrier with the locker obstacle trait. Well it's 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 a it's a barrier but it's got trap and poison for its traits. So no you can't use the Matok. Oh okay. So what's your dexterity? My dexterity is a D eight. Okay and you need to get a five? Yes. I'll use a blessing of the gods to give you another D eight. Thank you. And I think that's all I have. Mm-hmm. Just roll. Hope you get a five. I got a six and one is seven. It's seven. So that's going to defeat the poison trap. Okay. Would you like to attempt to close the location? Sure. To, to close it, you have to banish a card from your hand. Oh, I'm going to get rid of the Matok. Okay. So we have to go through here until we find the villain, because I know he's in here. So with an icy long spear. And he becomes the remainder of the deck. Okay. Now, if you discard a card to fight him, I can't help you. I am not going to fight him right now. Okay. I am going to end my turn and draw my hand size. Okay. I'll flip my blessing. Another chain man. That's a blessing of Torag which is for a non-combat strength check. I'm going to move over to the town square. I'm going to cast the cure spell on myself. So I roll a d4 plus one. I got a two, so two and one is three. So I get three cards back from my discard pile. What I could have suggested is not attempt the closing and continue exploring, That's I guess. Fine. Divine 8 to, re to recharge. My divine is a d10 plus 1, so I need to roll at least a 7. I got a 10. Nice. It's going to recharge the cure spell. And then I'm just going to end my turn. I'm not going to explore, because it's an optional action. 
I'll just draw back up to six cards. I didn't draw a blessing. All right, Joella, flip your blessing. Mm. So if it's a good one. For asthma spells. Okay. So I'm going to explore. Okay, so you find Pillbug Podiger. And if we beat him this time, we've finished the scenario. He's okay. 11 combat. Okay, so I'm going to use my... Uh, I don't know what's better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my long sword, which is my combat... Um, dice, which is a D10, as well as my D8, and if I discard this card, I'll get another D6. Mm -hmm. And I'll recharge Force Missile this time okay. to give you a D4. And I'm recharging this because that's his ability with a weapon. And Chris gave me a D4. Yep. And plus three. Six, two, two, and five. So eleven and four is fifteen plus three is eighteen, which is enough to defeat him. Yes. So we manage to capture and destroy. Pit well, I don't know if we destroy him, but we capture Pillbug Potiger and turn him into the proper authorities. That's what we'll say. Okay. The safe way to say. Okay, and that's going to end the scenario. Now it says here at the bottom of the card, each character draws a random weapon from the box. So, Joelle is going to draw a random weapon, and I'm going to get a random weapon. My weapon is a dagger. What did you get? Longsword. Plus, Plus one. one. Very nice. Okay, so we just put our cards together, because we have to rebuild our decks based on what our characters are allowed to have. Let's move all this stuff out of the way. Alright, so I I printed off the character sheets from the website because I find they're a lot easier to use than the little the little cards. The square ones. The little cards that they give you with the game that has all the same information on both sides. So I prefer to use the character sheet because it gives you all the information that you need. Plus it also has a list on the back of all the uh, cards you can earn over the course of the game so you can keep your deck a running total of your deck of what cards are in it so that if you decide to play a, the game with someone else you can dis, dis, dismantle the decks and restart so you can get those from Paizao's website and uh, yeah they're free to print off and you can have multiple so you can have multiple campaigns going at once but at the bottom it's got a list here of all the card types that, you, that your character has in his deck each deck is different based on each character so for example, Lem gets one weapon, and he has two right now. So I'm going to keep Light Crossbow and discard the dagger. I get four spells. I'm actually just going to get rid of one of the Force Missile I picked up in that adventure. So I'll keep the same four I had before. Force Missile, Lightning Touch, Cure, and Detect Magic. I get two items. I've got the Thieves Tools and Amulet of Life. Three allies. I'm going to get rid of one of the Standard Bearers I picked up. And Blessings. Now, I get five blessings, but I only have four. So if Joella's got any extra, I have to take what she has before I'm allowed to pull out of the box. Okay, Joella, what do you get? Okay, I get five weapons. And you have six. So you got to get rid of one of your weapons. Now, you picked up a longsword plus one. I'm suggesting you just get rid of a regular longsword. Oh, yeah, totally. That's what I was thinking. Now, the cards I discarded, if Joella can use them in her deck, she's more than welcome to take them. So I have no spells, three armor. And now you've got four. Yeah. Well, I'll get rid of one of the chain mails. Are you going to keep the shield? 
Okay. Yeah, I'll keep the shield. Something different. And uh, two items. Well, I don't think need the thieves tools anymore because the master the master, works. master tools. Master work tools. Thank you. And my ally, I'm gonna keep these two allies. Okay. And how many blessings do you get? Well, I get three, and I and should. And you have pick five, up. so you picked up two. So I'm gonna get one of those because I have to have five in my deck. Yes. And that's gonna finish it. You should have. 15 cards when you're done. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 for me. Oh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. What did I do? Well, you've got 5, 2 and 3 is 5, 2 and 3 is 5. You have 15. Okay. Okay, so these all get sent back to the box since we didn't take any of them. And that's going to end this adventure, and our decks are built and ready to go for the next one. Thank you very much for joining us as we managed to capture Pillbug Potager pretty easily. Join us next time when we go into the dungeon of Black Fang the Dragon to try and bring him to justice next. We'll see you again then. Thanks. Bye.